Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If there's something interesting that you guys want me to react to, let me know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and I'll be more than glad to react to this. This looks familiar, but I'm not sure. Or maybe it's a um, thingy that was a video that was cut down into different um, pieces and segments. I'm not sure, but looks quite familiar. But today I'm going to be reacting to I mean, did that I father a one? I and my father a one. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be reacting to today so without wasting time let's get into the video the big question remains where does he say i'm god or where he says worship me or where does he say that i and god almighty are one and the same thing is there a single christian who can give me a verse that me and god almighty are one and the same thing is there a christian in this vast audience who can give me No, what does it say, John 14? What does it say? That I am... I am the Father of our work. Right. Yes. John, no. I, the reference is incorrect. 14.6. No, the reference is not 14.6. The reference is, is, the quotation is right. I and my Father are one. The quotation is correct. But it is John chapter 10, verse 30. Please, please, silence, please. The reference is John chapter 10, verse 30. Now, you know, if I ask, you will have the chance to ask questions, my dear brothers. Please sit down. Would you please sit down? I'm sorry, we're going to take questions later. We're not having interruptions now. Please, would you sit down now? Thank you. I'm sorry, Mr. Didat. Yes, sir. Stewards. I am... Shh, 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 shh. Silence, please. I am, I am reading from my head. And my brother Shorosh just confirmed it, that it is John chapter 10, verse 30. Now, the context. You see, in 40 years, for 40 years, I have been talking to people. And when this verse is quoted, that, that Jesus said, I and my father are one. The verse is there in the Bible. You can't contradict that. I'm asking, what is the context? And believe me, in 40 years, I have not come across a single learned man of Christendom, a single man in 40 years. Who could give me the context? Yeah, you can open the book. Yes, by opening the book. But no man in my life, 40 years now, no Christian with the name could give me the context. You, ha you have to open the book. Without opening the book, you'll never be able to give you the context. Now let me give you the context. You see? The context is verse, starting from verse 23. It says, Jesus walked in Solomon's porch in the temple of Jerusalem. Then came the Jews around about him, means they surrounded him, and said, How long does that make us to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. They're alleging that he's talking ambiguously. He's not putting forth his claim clear enough. That's a charge, a false charge. Because we know he didn't speak ambiguously. He put forth his claim that he is the Christ, he is the Messiah. But the Jews want to pick up a fight. They didn't like his preaching. Him calling them, you generation of wipers, you whited sepulchres, you wicked and adulterous generation, you fools, you snakes. Would you like to hear people addressing you like that? And the Jews were not a people to forget in a hurry. So they find the man alone, they surround him, brandishing finger in his face. Come on, tell us. Why don't you tell us? They want to pick up a fight with him so they can work themselves into a frenzy and give him a good bashing. Get their own back. So Jesus says, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. 
My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. He said, My father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. 28, verse 28. Verse 29, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Verse 30, I and my father are one. In this, to see that once the man has accepted faith, he remains in faith. I as the teacher sees to see to that, as well as God Almighty sees to that. In purpose we are one. But the Jews were looking for trouble. And if you're looking for trouble, you, you don't have to go very far. You get it around the corner. So, they picked up stones again to stone him. So Jesus says, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? So they say, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. Kufa. Because the thou being a man makes us thyself a God. You are a man, you're claiming to be God. There's another false charge. First false charge was that he was talking ambiguously. Now another false charge that you're claiming to be God. That's the Jews alleged. The Christian agreed with the Jews. They said he did make such a claim, but he was entitled to it. Let us hear what Jesus says. The Jews say he blasphemed. The Christians say he did, but it is no blasphemy because he was entitled to. What does Jesus say? He says, is it not written in your law? Verse 31. Is it, verse 32. Is it not written in your law? Law means the Torah. I said, ye are gods. Ye, you, are gods. If he, God Almighty, called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, I mean the prophets are called gods in our language, man. The prophets. God Almighty speaks to Moses, and he says, Behold, I have made you a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. In the book of Psalms, 82nd Psalm, verse 6, it says, Ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the Most High. That's the genius of the Jewish language. That when a person is called God, he is not God. Like in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, the Bible says, And the devil is the God of this world. Is he God? The devil, Shaitan. No, this is your language. This means he's in control, so you say he's God. Moses is God to Pharaoh, and you Jews are all gods. That is the genius of the Jewish language. Now, you can't say, confer divinity on that. He said, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods, and the scripture cannot be broken, means you can't contradict me. Say ye of him whom the Father had sanctified and sent into the world, that thou blasphemest, because I said, I'm the son of God, which is nothing, man. God has got sons by the tons in our community, in our language. Why are you trying to find fault with me when I'm only saying I'm the son of God? When others are called gods. Is God. Moses is God to Pharaoh and you Jews are all gods. That is the genius of the Jewish language. Now you can't say confer divinity on that. He said, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods and the scripture cannot be broken, means you can't contradict me. Say ye of him whom the Father had sanctified and sent into the world that thou blasphemest because I said I'm the son of God. Which is nothing, man. God has got sons by the tons in our community, in our language. Why are you trying to find fault with me when I'm only saying I'm the son of God? When others are called gods. Interesting. I feel like I've actually reacted to this. I really, really think I've reacted to this. But um, I remember driving back home with dad and he tells me this story of a woman that could only manage to drive dream like driving lessons and everything to drive pretty well when they were drunk but once that woman hadn't taken any sort of alcohol whatever the case is she would completely fail those um driving tests the the moral being that um we want to things we want to talk ourselves and see certain things in a certain way once I drink, I can drive, but once I'm not, I don't have that confidence to do it anymore. So this makes sense. It makes sense that I should always, always drink and I'll get maybe my license. At the end of the day, take this passage, take the scripture and whatever it says, and you have been told that this means this. Okay, this person was God. Why don't you also 
flip it the other way around and look at it from uh, another person's viewpoint that it makes no sense that a human being just like you and i can actually be god at the end of the day once you give your life to god accept god there's certain terms that you're going to use that you think will make sense but won't make sense to the next person it's really really up to us and how we want to, to see things we shouldn't let people tell us you know what drinking is good so we go for drinking we shouldn't say uh sinning is good so we go for sinning that's why we have brains we're supposed to be the logical beings of this world let's think about it there, there should always be what if if sin is good what if it's bad always find the if in something so that you can understand it let me know what you guys actually think about this video otherwise make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video